Hello guys, this is another USA Gaming Site video. And as you may have seen last video, I installed Windows 7 Home Premium. I showed you how I did it, so you will have no problems. Because there's some people that don't know, and I actually checked out in some places. Some places they charge you fifty dollars just to upgrade it for you, fifty and up. Fifty is like the cheapest one I saw. But anyway, yes, um, I, I told you I was gonna make a video to see if Windows 7 is really good and what it really was, uh, if it was worth it, if it was like what it promised. And yes, it is. So far, this is like on my second week, and uh, Windows Vista, uh, one word would be awesome. Windows Vista, I mean Windows 7 is really really good. What I like about it, it looks cool and 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 since I installed Windows 7 the first time I started up my computer it went faster. My computer was already fast but I would say it went up by like 15-20% and faster. It uses less RAM as I show you now. When I had Windows Vista, it used to um, it used to use up like seventy percent, sixty percent. Right now, it's in fifty-five percent is moving up and down because I have a lot of Windows open and I'm using the software to record. That's why. Uh, but it usually uses like forty percent, forty-five, which is really good. I only, I only have two gigabytes. It's all right, and. I like the texture, the little start button here with the nice little flaring action. I like that. Um, I like how you can see your windows like this, and then you just you hover over it. And you get you can have a preview, and you can close it with this little red little button here. You close it, and. And I like the new gadgets like this right here. When I play music, the music comes up here and you can change it instead of opening the, the system, which is um, pretty cool. And there's no sidebar, doesn't exist. Um, you, and what I like about it is that um, you, it actually drags and you can like click it. Like right here in the corner, it clicks itself. See, like that. You can put it anywhere, and the co and this helps the computer so it can load faster. Because um before it used to take a lot of time because of the sidebar, and now it loads faster. Um, I like how fast it is now, and another thing I like is the personalization. I like how you can personalize it. you have many themes and what I like is that you can make your own theme and um in the background you could make it so the background changes like every 10 seconds one minute every two minutes 10 minutes that is awesome I have the default because I like that one you can make your own themes which is cool and they and they have a bunch of cool little themes and pictures here I changed two scenes right here and let's see how it is it's pretty cool nice colorful it even changes your tax bar to the color so it can go with the pics uh, but let me change it back to the default alright you could change the the window color, the sound screensaver, which I don't have any right now. The desktop. Yeah. If you click on the background, you choose what pictures you want. And then if you want, you can change every pictures up to 30 minutes. You 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 scroll on them. 
and then you you put how long you want it to switch like every 10 seconds and I um choose these pictures and I put save changes and look at that the taskbar changes with it too every 10 seconds and it's not slow it still runs pretty quickly it's not slow or anything it still runs like new I can open the window it still runs like brand new nothing out of the ordinary you know you can see how it changes up here and down there it's pretty cool you know yep but I really 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 like it I have no problems with it um, I like all the new things about it like the new paint it looks really really cool they updated it and it's pretty awesome and uh, Oh, one of the best new software that I like is the the new Windows Movie Player. Well, they actually call it Windows Live Movie Maker. And let me go on it. The cool little background there. It's pretty cool. I actually like these pictures. Here we go. And um, the best feature that Windows Live Movie Maker has is that as soon as, as soon as you're done with the video, you save it, and then you see right here, it has sharing options. And once you're as soon as you're done, like in Windows XP and Windows Vista, you have to save it, and then you have to upload it to your computer or disk or something, and then put it on YouTube. And it takes kind of forever with this Windows Live Movie Maker. You can actually, um, as soon as you're done with the video, you just save it to the desktop or wherever. You just save it. It takes one second to save, and then you just um, where it says sharing, you choose YouTube, and you enter you you enter your your username and password, and it publishes directly from your computer to the website YouTube. Or or on a DVD, an HD, in high definition. You can see right there, 100, a 1080 pixels, which is good. And directly to YouTube. That's my favorite thing. Like when I'm done with this video, I'm gonna publish it directly. Well, first I'm gonna edit it and then put it on, publish it on YouTube, which is pretty cool. I really like it. And we still have these cool little backgrounds. And I like the folder page. Everything's more organized. More organized and everything, you know. Um, I like the home group. There's a new thing. Uh, there's no one around me because I think you have to have Windows 7 as well. Which I guess no one around me has. Where's the downloads? recent places all of this is pretty awesome and another thing I like 